Gaffer. We've got Chris Gaffney, TIAA Bank President of World Markets. Um, Chris, I-, I wonder if you can just walk us through the market action today. What do you see as the key driver in the sell-off? Yeah, it was uh, risk off. Obviously, it's the Omicron variant. Uh, investors are worried that not only will it slow, uh, the restrictions will slow some GDP growth, but uh, at the same time, you could see it actually increase inflation as it as it uh, compounds the supply side uh, dynamic. So um, it's really, you know, the investors are worried that uh, Omicron will will impact both inflation and growth. What's the base case that you're operating under when you talk about the potential um, inflationary pressures that could come from this? You know, it, it feels like we've gone from like zero to 100 on concerns around COVID over the last few weeks. And now we're starting to see those headlines again about potential closures coming. How are you operating in that environment? And what do you anticipate come January? Well, uh, you know, Powell at his press conference kind of uh, brushed aside Omicron a little bit, um, saying that it wasn't going to have a long lasting impact. It probably wouldn't have a lasting impact. And uh, uh, but at the same time, he is concerned about inflation. So, um, you know, I, I think the Fed did a great job uh, and Chairman Powell did a great job in, in pivoting and making sure that every investors understand that they have their eyes on both of the dual mandates that uh, you know they are concerned with inflation and, and uh, doubling the taper will give them the ability to address um, higher inflation a little sooner um, with rate increases possible in 2022 and certainly saw a hawkish pivot there. So, um, you know, so far, the chairman and, and FOMC have done a great job uh, managing the U.S. economy through this uh, uh, uncertainty, and and in my opinion, they'll they'll continue to do that. So, you know, the environment still is very good for companies. We've got uh, strong consumer balance sheets, strong corporate balance sheets, and uh, as long as they can keep uh, inflation uh, from spiking out of control, I, I think growth picks up next year. Um, as long you know, Omicron is a risk, but uh, you know, hopefully the severity of that risk isn't as bad. And and uh, I think next year is going to be a good year for uh, investors on the equity side. So you talk about I- improving earnings. Um, you know, it's it's tough to see that today when the negative the headlines are, are so negative overall. But taking a step back here. Um, what are some areas, sectors that you think investors should be increasing their exposure to in, in anticipation of that outlook you just highlighted come next year? Well, interest rates are going to start rising. So, um, you know, financials typically do well in a in a steepening yield curve, right? Um, so, you know, that may be a good, good sector to take a look at. Um, you know, I, I think we will see the reopening. We will see consumers um, continue to spend, even though... Retail sales were a little disappointing. Um, you know, inflation's had had some impacts there, but uh, uh, I, I think as we get through, um, you know, this this Omicron wave and and get to the other side of the uh, of the latest surge, um, you know, vaccination rates are really good and continue to trend higher. And and I think uh, uh, some of the reopening plays will come back into um, into play as we get through this uh, this surge again. Yeah, let's talk about some of those reopening plays. We were just highlighting that the travel names that we've seen kind of go up and down really on these headlines, but also energy. I mean, there was huge um, optimism here about the demand improving. And yet here we are today talking about a significant pullback. Where are you positioned in those spaces? Yeah, and and energy, I, I think, uh, you know, commodities in general um, will continue to see a bull market as as uh, we see manufacturers uh, open back up and get back online and, and demand is very strong and, and I think will continue to be strong. So um, I look for the energy sector to rebound. Um, you know, we, we've seen some volatility, obviously, in, in the travel and leisure. Um, those are so dependent on, you know, what happens with this uh, pandemic and, and uh, you know, the restrictions that have been put on in Europe. Uh, there's some worry that we're going to see additional restrictions here in the U.S. And if that occurs, you could see uh, further selling of that travel and leisure. But uh, I, I think, again, it, the key is to get through the Omicron um, Chairman Powell, you know, uh, in his address uh, feels like, 
you know, the U.S. economy is strong enough to get through it. We've seen it before. We've seen us get through the Delta. And uh, if we continue to uh, push forward on vaccinations, um, we will start seeing the reopening again. And uh, after the holiday season, again, it's a very good environment for companies and company earnings going forward. So uh, I, I'm, I'm fairly bullish uh, after we get through this uh, initial surge. Yeah, nice to get that note of optimism on a day like this. Chris Gaffney, TIA Bank President of World Markets. Good to talk to you today. Appreciate the time.